Here we have a 2007 Renault Clio Campus Sport 3 door hatchback in blue. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth, we'll just check the centre there. We are looking at a good 7mm of tread on the offside front tyre. Looking at the offside front alloys, you can see there's some light curbing around the outside edge of the alloy itself, so a potential refurb required. Looking at the offside of the bodywork, there is quite a few small dinks down at the bodywork of the car there. Looking around the offside front arch, looking around the arch itself, doesn't look too bad, you've got your mudguards on the back there. Driver's mirror again, nice condition, no damage. Driver's door itself, a couple of chips in the paintwork will require some paint, so you can see you've got a small dent at the bottom of the door there as well as some scratches. Um, some scratches all along the door here will require good polish. Again, you've got these uh, dents on the door edge there. Door edge is not bad at all, no chips at all there. There is some scratches on the roof, as you can see. Moving towards the rear arch, again you've got scratches, you've got a very deep scratch on there as well. You can see it started to rust, took all the paint off there as well, so that's going to require some smart repair. Moving towards the rear arch, again you've got a very light scuff on the offside rear arch, or rear bumper there, sorry. And looking at the rear tyre, not as much as the front here, bad looks of things. If we just take a look, there we go. We're looking at dot on three millimeters of tread on the offside rear, offside rear alloy again. Some scratches and some minor scuffs, but no signs of any curbing. And moving towards the rear end of the vehicle, rear bumper shows that minor scuff on it. A couple of light scratches, but no signs of any serious damage. And it does actually look very well for its age here. So really in good order at the rear bumper. Take a look inside the boot. Parcel shelf, lovely clean condition, and you have got your spare wheel under there as well, so that's all in good order. Moving around to your near side rear tyre, checking the depth there on the on the uh, the gauge. Again, we're looking at seven millimeters on the near side rear tyre. Near side rear alloy has got some curbing, as you can see all around the alloy itself, so definitely going to require refurb here. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, again you've got some small dinks down the bodywork, some scratches on the paintwork as well. Door edge isn't too bad at all. Again, just one or two light scratches to the passenger door. Mirror is in nice condition. Front arch looks clean. Again, a bit of a scratch on the front arch there, as you can see. Again, some scratches around the arch. And the front tyre on the near side. And again, we're looking at 7mm of tread, so plenty of tread on all four tyres, really. And moving around to the front end of the vehicle. Take a look at the front bumper, now there is one or two stone chips there and then you've got a very large scuff on the offside front quarter here that's definitely quite a smart repair. Apart from that, one or two stone chips on the bonnet and also some lack of peel on the bonnet there as well. Take a look at the interior of the car. As you can see, got the full blue and black cloth interior. Driver's seat doesn't look too bad at all, the bolsters are all looking well. There's a bit of a, a burn hole in there. So just be wary of that. Take a look in the back seats. Again, the back seats look great. Real nice condition. No signs of any damage there. And the front passenger seat, if we just uh, step inside the vehicle itself. As you can see, moving this paperwork out of the way, there's also a hole there as well in the cloth. Dashboard etc. isn't too bad at all. You can see you've got an aftermarket radio. Uh, steering wheel's showing some signs of age, but again, you'd expect it really. Uh, we do have only one key with the vehicle, so it is just one key with the car. And just getting the car started up for you guys. No issues at all starting the vehicle, just start first time. As you can see there's no symbols appearing on the dash, and it's telling us that the oil is okay. Uh, just waiting for that mileage to pop up on the screen, it does a does eventually pop up there. Uh, we'll just leave that to turn on for a little bit. As you can see, it's got an aftermarket CD and radio, but it, um, it can't seem to find the frequency. I'm not sure if that's to do with that or the uh, the aerial, but I can't really pick up any frequency. All the buttons work, etc. Um, I can turn it on and off, so it is working okay, uh, but it just doesn't seem to pick up any stations. Blowers work fine, but the air conditioning will need a regas. It doesn't come out very cold. And mileage, we're looking at 70,961, so not bad at all for the vehicle's age. Apart from that, it's manual transmission, bit of wearing around the gear stick. 
Looking at the V5 of the vehicle, the car's had two owners, so two owners on the vehicle. MOT expiry date here till Feb 15th, 2016, so you get a year's MOT on the car. And service history now is only partial. Uh, you got your first one now at 16, uh, your second one now at 38. Um, so it is only partial service history, there's no other service book. There you go guys, for the money, you're paying for what you get, and it is a lot, it is a lovely car for the money. Um, it's, it's not in bad condition at all, just a couple of cosmetic marks, um, but you can tell it's been looked after, and um, yeah, like I said, it's a 2007 Renault Clio Campus Sport.